What's good, Josh? Your boy, Few Weeks 181. We out here on Jekyll Island in South Georgia. Jekyll Island is one of Georgia's barrier islands. Um, so yeah, I'm out here with my RU group. Some other folks went on some other adventures, but I was intent on going fishing. <sighs> the water, just listen to it. I needed to be by the water and I need to be fishing. So I done came out here, like I said, to the pier. Uh, it's on the north end of the island. I got my gear. I got you know, a whole gallon of water, you know what I'm saying, doing that thing. I got a sandwich, more water, Pierre. Uh, come on, we got chucks. We good, we got, we got some stuff. So look, we're gonna get out here. We're gonna see what we can do. And I'll catch y'all in a bit. All right, peace. All right, y'all, so I came here to the Jekyll Fishing Center. Got some good insight. I actually went in and got us a Sabiki rig. So if you don't got live bait and you wanna just like try to catch some, the Sabiki rig is a good go-to just to like catch like small bait fish. You gotta throw on top of the pockets on top of them. But you know, usually they're, they hang around the pillars so that's good to look for. So I'll try that, be out there for a little bit. But I was told that around 2.30 when the tide starts going out, flounder will be a lot on this parking lot. So I'll come back and get some mud minnows and uh, we're gonna be on top of them flounder, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, I'll catch y'all in a little bit. And thank you to the people of Jekyll Fishing Center. Let's get it. All right, so I thought I had my tackle with me, but I left my tackle in my car. I decided to carpool and thus forgot my tackle in my car. <laughs> so gotta go get some tackle. Um, it's all good, no biggie. No, going to get away from the Sabiki rig and probably get a couple hooks and a couple more like drop. So I just think of ways to add on to the line. We'll make it work. Yeah, you know how to make it work in these situations. So catch up with y'all a little bit. All right, peace. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna go over the gear I'm working with today. So this is a dial with D-Shot. I got this actually when I was around, whew, I wanna say 14, 15 years old. It was like one of my first fishing rides I paid for, I saved up for. Um, the tip is broken at the top. And I just trimmed it down a little bit smaller so I can continue to use it. Uh, yeah, I also got this Okuma reel, actually. We got this Okuma reel about two, three years ago. Avenger, I want to say, actually, I can't remember, but you know, Okumos are pretty popular in the saltwater fishing community. So I thought that'd be a reliable reel to try. It's like the starter reel. Yeah, I went back, like I said, got some picky rigs. Also got weights, got some squats, hooks, squat hooks, squat weights, squats weights.
rig. I got, got, I got hung up a couple times. That wasn't too fun, so I was just about to check over on the other side of the hill today. Um, so I decided, you know, I brought some shrimp. I actually bought some food world in Statesboro in the barrel. I actually probably should have checked if the anime broke the residues because 80% of, actually no, 92% of the imported seafood that we get is not checked for any microbial residues. Only 2% is checked. So, it's probably should have checked that, but I got it and I don't want it to just go away. So, I'm going to use a shrimp in it. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's, also, that's important enough. So, I might say something checking. Up. But yeah, I'm gonna try to shrimp. I'm gonna try to shrimp. I'm gonna get back with y'all. Let's see how it goes. Alright, peace. Yo, so I guess we just pulled up. <laughs> Squad, are you Squad? Yeah, we here. Yeah, what you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they pulled up on me fishing. They went biking. Tell them about y'all biking adventure. It's uh, been great. It was a little bumpy. You know, yeah, some bumpy. Oh yeah. Long time. Long bike. Um, it's gonna be sore tomorrow. It's gonna be sore tomorrow. Yeah, probably. It's all worth it though. Yeah, it's been fun. That's good. That's just a. Try to like Speaking of fish, I gotta watch my line. I catch up with y'all. All right, y'all, so I took a break from fishing. Uh, worked over there until about maybe 12, 10. Then came over here, sat down for a little bit. I had to check out for a meeting, hop back in. So now, yeah, the fish is jump is funny. But yeah, we're gonna get out here. I got a Sabiki rig back on. I have a four ounce hook on that. We'll see if that works for me over here. Maybe I'll lighten it up since it's a little more shallow, but we'll work, you kind of finesse it. I'm actually switch the hookup for that one. I mean, switch the weight up, that slender weight. So yeah, I'm gonna switch that up. All right, blah, blah, blah. catch up, peace. All right, y'all, so this is the spot that I'm going to. And then, just to try to see what we can do over here. Yeah, Sam, you know what I'm saying, we're making it work. Oh. Outside there, they doing their thing. I just do a British crawling around over here. Right there. Yeah, it's cool though. Alright, catch y'all in a bit. Yeah, 
charge uh, so changed up the rigging a little bit I lost the uh, two weights um, two smaller weights though two ounce got caught up in the rocks over here so what I have on here now is a four ounce excuse me a four ounce weight right here and I made a loop with the end of the previous line cross egg sinker and then I connected that with the Palomar knot to this snell right here and if you want me to make a video on how to tie the Palomar knot I can show you how to do that I'm actually yeah we out here fishing I don't care <laughs> um oh but yeah that's what I got going on so I'm gonna use this hook I have some fresh water lures in my pocket I'm gonna try those I'm gonna see what happens I'm just curious you know what I'm saying it's science fishes just enjoying the day but Yo, alright y'all, I'm gonna check check that out. But then I'm still getting the mud minnows when the tide start going out some more. So yeah, yeah. I'll catch you on a bit. Alright, peace. This is that 1080 P 60 frames per second. Alright y'all, so the worked our way around here, around the shore on the left side. Now I'm over here on the shore on the right side with a new friend Parker. Yo. What's good, what's good, what's good. So yeah, we're gonna work this spot over here. Hopefully we can catch some flying and get hooked on. Let's get it. Got a minnow, mud minnow over there. Let's get to it.
So we are running in and out. What's up, what's up? So I get a good little pace. Go on the track to the beach. So I find some teeth. So we're gonna wrap this water park. <laughs> it cash for water park. We gonna make it the That's how we did. Hope y'all enjoyed this camera slash phone test. Um, yeah, iPhone's all right. You know what I'm saying? We're making, we're making it work. But yeah, I'll catch up with y'all later. Have a good one. Peace. See you next time. Hey.